You will need the tools shown for the installation. Open the box and unpack the contents. Scan the QR code to access the complete user manual. Turn off the disconnector device to ensure a safe, power-free installation. Mark a point on the wall where the top of the unit will be placed. Drill a hole using an 8mm bit. The witty one is supplied with fittings for wall fixing. Insert a wall plug into the hole. Screw in a fitting, leaving the head exposed. Hang and level the witty one backplate. With the backplate level, mark the two lower holes. After drilling the holes, tighten all the screws as shown. On the witty one, the power supply can be fed through the top, bottom or the central hole. Align the cable trunking and fix to the wall as shown. Fit the rubber grommet to the bottom of the backplate. Place the second rubber grommet in the top of the backplate. And mark out the area to be removed around the trunking. Cut out the marked area as shown. With the backplate and the trunking secured, Using cable ties, attach the mains power cable on the left side of the inner backplate. Remove the faceplate from the main unit. Remove the four screws and remove the secondary cover. Clip on the cable trunking cover. Fit the rubber grommet previously cut to size. In the back of the main unit, cut a hole to allow for the mains cable to pass through. Offer the main unit up to the backplate and push down to click into position. Secure the main unit using two screws. Next, secure the mains cable to the main unit at the lower attachment point. Cut and strip the mains cable. Insert the conductors as shown. Secure the mains cable at the upper attachment point. Insert the rubber stopper as shown. Set the maximum current of the charging station depending on the electrical configuration. Attach the secondary cover using four screws. and reattach the faceplate, securing into place using two screws. Turn on the power supply. The charger light will turn green to show it is ready for use. A white faceplate is also available. The witty one can be configured using the Hagar Charge app.